Hi guys, welcome back to the studio. Today we are going to do another string art. We're going to be using our small piece of wood. It is the one, let's see, it's five and a half by five and a half. You're going to need a ruler, some of your thread, a pencil and your nails, and a, your hammer of course. And um, we're going to do a piece of string art on this board today. But first, let's go over your artist this month. Chiharo is a Japanese performance and installation artist educated in Japan, Australia, and Germany. Shioda interweaves materiality and the psychic perception of the space to explore ideas around the body and flesh, personal narratives that engage with memory, territory, and alienation. Um, she's still alive, and I'm going to show you some pictures of her stringer. It's pretty interesting. Um, one of a quote, it says, as an artist, I am an individual, but society is a team. You cannot go through life without connecting with other people. And that is so true. Very important. And to connect with people through your life and with art. It's very interesting and fun. So here's a picture of her. And... So she does installation art, which means she goes to places and she does, she probably has a whole team of people that help her put her art together with all the strings. And you see here, there's like a boats and pieces of paper and all the string. So she uses string with everything. This here, the string is attached to the walls. Here you can see the strings are attached to shoes and then to the ceiling. So it's very interesting, very detailed, you know, it probably takes hours and hours and hours and days just to put the art work up. You can see the strings here on the boats. Very interesting. There she is entangled with her string and on and on. So very in interesting uh, artist. I was, uh, you can look her up and see some different things. I think this was interesting also. The string is uh, wrapped around chairs with numbers. Maybe people are studying math. I'm not sure what that um, was all about. There's a piano and the audience and the string is all connected with uh, nails and hooks on the floor and on the uh, walls. Just miles of string. <laughs> So, um, anyway, very interesting things. Uh, I want to show you a couple other string artists that well, you can see this, okay? So, hundreds of nails. This person is, of course, in a time lapse, real fast forward, showing you how he's stringing a cat face. This one is of an artist using lots of nails and then just going back and forth in a pattern. So some of these, you know, if you talk to your parents and you can look up some string art professionals on YouTube and they have these reels and shorts that they make of um, their string art, which is super beautiful. and. Uh, very detailed. Anyway, so today we are going to be making our own string art with our, a pattern. And you can also grab some paint if you want. Because I think I'm going to paint the back of the, paint the surface of this after I put, um, maybe I'll do the nails first or the nail holes. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to have to grab uh, your ruler and your pencil. We're going to do some measuring first. And so we're going to come up a half, maybe just like a quarter inch from the bottom actually. So it's a quarter inch. So when you have an inch, between the inches you have four lines, four spaces. Those are quarter inch. So you got one, quarter, half, three quarter, and the two. So come up just a quarter inch. Over here we're going to measure a quarter inch. Over here we're going to measure a quarter inch. We're going to draw a line. It's real light. Then we're going to do that on all sides. We'll draw a quarter inch here, a quarter inch there, 
jawline. And then on this side, Now, I must say this wood, uh, when I bought it, we had no guarantee of what it was going to look like. Some of it's pretty rough, but I'm just going to, because we're going to put the nails on the outside and we're going to paint it, so a lot of that's going to get covered up with our design with our string. So we're not going to worry about it too much. All right. So we got a quarter inch all the way around. And now we're gonna take our ruler. So here we have, now we have, it should measure five inches. From the line to the line is five inches. So we're gonna mark on the line every half inch. So we're gonna come in, this is gonna be a nail, a half inch, one, half inch, two, half inch, three, half inch, four, half inch and five. So this is where we're gonna put our nails, every half inch. All right, we're gonna do that on each side. So we're gonna go half inch, one, half, two, half, three, half, four, half, five. Two more times. <laughs> And we're going to put nails on all these marks. All right. And today we are going to do a design by using, it's going to be called a parabolic curve, where we're going to be using straight lines that become a curve. It's a math thing if you want to look it up. It's pretty interesting. Okay, so we have all our marks and we're going to take our nails and we're going to hammer them in. Okay, so I'm going to just do a couple with you guys. They're very, it's very loud. Just hammer it, um, try to get it real straight and not all the way through. So if it comes through a little bit, just hammer it back out. Okay, so it's going to stick up. It's going to be about, you know, halfway, probably halfway because before it hits the outside. So when you're hammering, make sure like I'm, I'm on my old desk. But make sure that you have something underneath that maybe you want to put a cutting board or something so that when if the nail does go by go through that it doesn't ruin your table or whatever surface you're working on. So I'm going to put the nails in here off camera because it's very loud and I will be back in a sec. Alright, so I put all my nails in and then I painted it purple. Alright, and I am going to string it now. So I'm going to grab a green and a light green, dark green and a light green. All right, so we're going to measure our thread and we're going to do seven feet. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and cut it. All right, so we're going to do seven feet. So we have seven feet and we're going to tie it to this first, we're going to make a loop it's like a double loop and tie it to this first nail. Okay, and we're just, I'm just going to hang on to it. So I'm going to go, this is one. This is going to be not this one, but this first one up. That's going to be number one. So I'm going to wrap it around there. And I'm going to go to the two, second nail, second nail over here, three, three, pull and keep it very tight, 
four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, whoops, 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 eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten, and bring it down here. To the very first one okay see what we have we have straight lines that make a curve all right and then we're gonna hold it pretty tight you guys might need to um, ask for some help doing this would be nice to have a second hand to help do this because it's not going to be tight. Oops. Maybe I could tie it to this one. Oh yeah, I'll bring it back this way and tie it to this one. Since I don't have an extra hand, tell me today. So I want to keep that pretty tight. There we go. That actually worked out okay. All right. So you see that? You have your first one done. Okay. Now we're going to do the same thing and we're going to turn it, turn it, turn it. We're going to start over here. And this is going to be one, one, two, two, three, three, four, all the way up. And then we'll trim these off. I don't know. I think I'm just going to do. I think I'm just going to do another, a different color right away. Okay. So I'm going to put seven feet of this color. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And it's a little bit, actually a little bit over seven because I'm just pulling it as long as the ruler. All right. So now we're going to start again. make a little knot, little double knot. That means I'm putting the tail in there twice. Put it around this first one. And then I'm gonna string it. So this is one, and not this one, but this one's one. So I'm gonna say one, one, two, it's hard to see with my uh, hand in the, my head in the way here with the video. <laughs> Two. This is three. Three. Four. Four. This is three. Four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, all the way up, all the way down, go around this one, and I'm just going to bring it back over like I did last time, and tie it to this one. Now you guys, um, when you put your string on, 
the nail, just kind of take it to the bottom of the nail so it doesn't slip off the top. If you saw me, I was kind of pushing it down. So your nails should work out fine. Some of mine I, I ran out, so I had, um, they don't have big head on the top, they don't have like a flat head, some of them are real s small, and so they're a little bit trickier. Let's see, I'm going to have to hold this off camera maybe, so I can see what I'm doing here. Be right back. So I'm going to make this knot. Alright, had it go off camera there for a second. Alright, so now I'm going to trim these. And we can either leave it or we can put a couple more colors. If I want to do another color here, then I'm going to do from this one to this, this side. Okay, so you can see on paper here there was the green and then or the blue and the blue and then they did the green and the green. Okay, so you can do the same thing with paper if you want. We just use a um, trace around the square, put your needle, you know, measure it out every half inch, then poke a needle or a push pin through the holes and then just do it on paper. You can do that also. Maybe you really enjoy it and you want to try it. Okay, so let's use a different color on top now. Let's see if we have... Okay, so let's do a different color on top. I'm going to get some yellow and do seven feet. Let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven feet. Then we'll put the yellow on and then another one, but you guys don't have to do all sides if you don't want to. You can just do two and leave it like this and paint something else in there if you want to also. It's all up to you guys. So we're going to make a little knot again. Okay, I'm going to count this one, this one's one, two, whoops, two, <laughs> three, three, four, Four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten, all the way to the top, all the way down, wrap it over here. And we'll tie a knot. All right, so now we have this piece. So now let's do one more, and then we'll be done. We'll do one right here. Let's use a bright orange. Same thing, seven feet. One, two, three, four, five, six and seven so if you guys really like doing this kind of stuff um, and you can always get some more string at Michaels or at craft store Walmart different places have it or you can even use yarn or you can use some kind of threads also all right there's lots of different things so you could even just use string like regular um, craft string. All right, so here we go again. This is going to be one. Over here's one. Two. Two. Three. 
three, four, four, five, five, six, seven, eight, In here, one more, a couple more, all the way up, all the way down, and then we can connect over here. Okay, so we're going to trim these, and be careful not to cut the string, that would be not good, I mean the string on there, right? Okay, so here we have it guys, it's all nicely done. And you have your little parabolic curves. Straight lines that become curved with this type of design, all right? So, hope you enjoyed that. And um, it'll be interesting to see if you guys do just one side. And maybe you want to do a, a painting in here. Or you want to do all four sides. Or maybe one day you do two sides. And the next day you do the other two sides. And perhaps you want to try some on paper also. All right. So have fun. Um, enjoy the process. Have a great week, guys. And I will see you next time. Take care. Bye.